Hey guys, I'm at my old place of employment and I just did some shopping. I'm looking for something specific, but I didn't find it here. Um, but I did find a bunch of little grab bag things, which I'll show later on in this video. But I'm going to head over to Hobby Lobby in Hermitage. There's a Goodwill over there by that store. And I don't know, this is Southern Thrift. So there's another Southern Thrift out that way in Donaldson, which I may or may not go to depending on how I feel but I'm about to head over to Hermitage now and hopefully I'll find what I'm looking for. So here's the update. I was just at Southern Thrift earlier when I first started this video and by the way I'm wearing my little perfect smile right now. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous looking um, for me like on me but um, I didn't know what I would be doing or where I'd be going today, so I didn't want to glue in my other fake tooth that I normally wear because it's, I just, if I can avoid wearing it, I do. Um, like on my days off from work or like if I'm not having to like, like if I'm going out somewhere where I know I'm going to be wearing my mask and not talking to anybody without my mask on, I won't bother wearing it. It's just, it's uncomfortable. So I decided to bring this one along and pop it in in case I decide to do this video. Um, but also I have two other, like I have two flippers in this thing. And the two flippers, like one of them is the one that I wear on a regular basis. You see me wear it all the time in my videos. And then the other one, it looks better, but it is so freaking uncomfortable. Like I can be wearing it and it takes like 30 minutes for it to not be painful. And then when it comes time for me to take it out, it feels like I've been shot in the mouth. Like, it's just so painful to wear it. And like I said, it looks better, but it's just, oh, it's a nightmare. By the way, we're going past the airport now. Um, I don't know if you can even see any of this stuff in the background. Well, I guess we just went over the interstate, but now we're like approaching airport territory where you go to, to go to the airport. Um, so we'll be probably approaching the runway here in just a moment. But yeah. So um, what I was saying was originally that I went to Southern Thrift first because I'm looking for something specific and figure a thrift store would be where I could find it. Um, that was a bust. So I needed to go get some fabric dyes anyway and Hobby Lobby like typically carries them but oh my gosh I spent so much time in Hobby Lobby looking around I guess because tie-dye is like the new thing right now so fabric dyes are kind of in demand they didn't have a lot of them um and what I really wanted was the red dye and at, at first I couldn't find them but then it dawned on me they were probably in the fabric section so I went over there and they were out of the colors that I was trying to get and that was a bummer um and a lot of places online that i've looked are out of those colors too so i mean it was a risk going out there but i wanted to go out there anyway um everything i wanted was pretty much sold out um i think well okay we all just slowed down drastically um i'll show like i'll have a little haul of what i did get i didn't get a whole lot but I got some stuff and then there's a Goodwill over there by the Hobby Lobby so I figured I'd pop in there and I found like I'm looking for specific material that's what I'm looking for something that's a specific material that I can use and I found one item that was made out of that material but there wasn't a lot of that material on the item and the color just wasn't that great and so I just I didn't even bother. It was like $6 and I was like, for $6, it's not worth it. I may be regretting that tomorrow, but whatever. Um, I wanted it for a project and I really, like I'm itching to start the project, but until I get fabric, there's no chance of doing it. So, um, yeah. And we are approaching an area where there's gonna be a lot more traffic. Ooh, okay, people don't know where they're going. Um, we're like crossing over every which way cutting across okay so that was that I mean it was just kind of a bummer because I 
went all the way out to Hermitage, which actually today, the traffic wasn't too bad, and I guess it's because of this whole virus thing, like there's not as much traffic out as there normally is, since a lot of employers are closed, like a lot of offices and whatnot. I just hit something and I don't know what it was. Um, a lot of offices are closed, so I, that definitely decreases a lot of traffic, especially out in this area that I've been driving through. Um, so it's actually a lot quicker of a commute to and from Hermitage than it normally is, which that's shocking, but it's good. I mean, it worked out in my favor, so yay. Um, by the way, I took the rest of the week off from work. I just I had already planned that out three weeks ago, like when I, the earliest I could submit my time off request, so I did. <laughs> I was like, I've got to have some time off because I am losing it. Like, I just can't deal with this anymore. Wow, there's like no traffic out through here. This is insane. Um, <laughs> I'm not that far away from home either, so that's why I'm like, whoa. Uh, so, I'm almost contemplating, we'll be going by Dollar Tree on the way home. I might stop, I think I will probably stop by there if traffic isn't insane through there. If it's insane through there where I feel like it's going to be hard for me to get back out, then I probably won't stop. But, we'll see. Uh, I hate the way that this area is designed. It's like we got the right of way, but we got to merge anyway. Um, okay, that wasn't too bad. <sighs> if you're not from Nashville and you're visiting Nashville, I can't imagine trying to navigate. <laughs> like, especially, I've talked about before, the interstates through here are insane. Like, when you go through the downtown area, the way that all the interstates interchange over, and oh my gosh. And then, like, we have roads through here where... <laughs> I tell you, trap, like, it's just the way people drive around here, it just kind of makes me a nervous wreck, but, um, the road, the way that they merge and whatnot, and, and like, you can have a road like Old Hickory Boulevard, and Old Hickory Boulevard is, like, five different roads, because over the years, it's been broken up from what it was originally, so, which I'm not on Old Hickory Boulevard, I'm somewhere else right now, but I was near one of the Old Hickory Boulevards, and I guess, really, I'm not that far away from the other Old Hickory Boulevard. Um, wow, there's really not much traffic over here either. I am stunned. Oh, wow, especially the summer day, because we're getting close to 5 o'clock right now. Time, yeah, we're about 15 minutes till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is usually, like, we would have been backed up way back close to the police precinct <laughs> right now and, like, prior to the virus. So, this is insane. So, I probably will stop at Dollar Tree. I see it right over there. Oh, my goodness. Which, I'm so tired. I almost contemplated. There was another Southern trip back in Donaldson. Um, but, I... I at this point, I don't feel like going through any more thrift stores for the day, in which we're really close to the one that I started out at. Um, but, yeah, so we'll just pop on over here to Dollar Tree and see what they have to offer today. lot of cars over here either like there normally is. Okay, let's just go over here. And I'll check back in after. Okay, so I just wrapped up here at Dollar Tree and I'm getting ready to head back to the house. Um, hopefully get back to the house easily without too much difficulties about encountering too much traffic on the way. And if I get this just right, no, never mind. There we go. Alright. I think I'm going to cut down 
the street named after my family because I feel like it's just going to be easier to go that way. It's going to be harder to get back out onto my road, but whatevs. We'll just deal with it when we get to that point. Go by the family cemetery. Um, bad thing about this street is that it is all to pieces. Like, there's so many potholes down through here. It's been a whirlwind day today. <laughs> uh, but I figured that I probably would have gone to more than just Southern Thrift. Like, I was ready to get out and look around for stuff. Actually do something somewhat productive with my day. this stop sign here. There's like never any traffic over here. But I guess better to have more than enough than not enough. Okay, we got the mailman up here. Wow, this is pretty late in the day for the mail to be delivering. Like it's almost 5 30. The house we live in is like the third house of the, maybe the fourth house of the families. Um, but I, there's no way of me to know for sure exactly where it's at. But I'm approaching the cemetery up here on my right, which you will not be able to see with the way the camera is angled. Um, there it is. Hi, family. Bye, family. family to be buried there is either like my dad's grandparents, like one of his, or maybe both of his grandparents, or his great grandparents, because everybody else is like buried in the cemetery, which is called Woodlawn, which is where like a lot of famous country stars are buried. Um, it's where George Jones is buried. Uh, my dad's favorite, Marty Robbins. Uh, Tammy Wynette, I believe, is buried there. I know there's a ton of them, and I just can't think of them right now. Um, yeah, but it, my family's laid to rest among country stars. Uh, well, traffic's not too bad at all right now, thankfully. This is why I hate getting out in the later afternoons, um, because usually traffic is horrendous. But again, because of the virus stuff going on, and I guess a lot of places are closed, uh, traffic is not nearly what it used to be. <laughs> this little lisp is killing me too. I can't even say this. <laughs> like, it's awful. I can't wait till I get in the house and I can just like pop this thing out. I may actually put in my other tooth and do like, um, the hall part and just do another video or two tonight to make it worthwhile. I don't know. We'll see. I may hold off on doing the hall until like tomorrow or something. I actually got the green light. Yes. Alright. Almost home. Almost home. I think I left out right around 2 o'clock and like I said, about 5.30, which is not bad for where all I've been <laughs> and how long I've spent in most places. Like, usually I spend more time in traffic than I spent in the place itself, but A, um, I'm making a pretty decent time today. Yay! All right. Now we're cooking. Yay! And I am home. It, it's not even 5.30 yet. 
that's good. That's really good. All right, so I'll be back more with the haulage part to the rest of this video. Okay, I'm going to end this video like this right now. Um, so instead of like including the hauls in this video, I'm going to just going to have them in a separate video because I recorded the haul and it's going to take like it's a long video and I know this video that you just watched is a long video so I'm gonna end this here if you want to see what I got check out the next video so thank you for watching and I hope everybody's doing well